In this episode, I'm going to retrofit an iCraig iPod tower with a Bluetooth speaker that I had laying around the house. This is how I did it. I had this Bluetooth speaker laying around the house, and I thought it would be a perfect donor for its Bluetooth receiver. First, I fully disassembled the speaker to get to the components inside. After disassembly, I cut the speaker wires to the small speaker and set it aside for maybe another project. Then I detached the three wires from the board that lead to the LED party lights on top of the speaker. Now we open the iCraig tower to find a way to wire in the Bluetooth receiver. Now that I can see what each wiring harness's purpose was, I can see at the bottom there is a 5 volt power supply that went for the iPod or iPhone. And on the top you can see that there's an iPod left channel, iPod ground, and iPod right channel. That's what I'm going to be using to wire my Bluetooth receiver into. I'm going to start off by checking the 5 volt power supply. I need to make sure that it is getting 5 volts because if it's giving a lot more, it could damage the Bluetooth receiver. If it's getting a lot less, then it won't power the Bluetooth like we need it to. So you can see here that it is giving us just about 5 volts. That should be plenty to power our Bluetooth receiver and it's not gonna overload anything. Now I've taken the charging cable for the Bluetooth receiver and I've cut off the USB part and stripped the wires. Now I'm sure the guys out there with more experience than me are probably going crazy right now watching me do this, but I just wanted to see if it would work for myself and it actually did. I didn't have any problems with it after the project was done. So, so far at least, it seems to have worked. So here you've seen me cut the connector off and strip the positive and negative wires to the five volt power supply. So here I'm simply wiring positive to positive and negative to negative from the five volt power source to the Bluetooth charger. I temporarily put a little electrical tape on the connections just so I can test the power supply out to see if it works. And it does. So now I'm going to solder and then insulate these connections. I don't have any heat shrink on hand, so I'm just gonna use some hot glue and some electrical tape to help insulate this connection. And now to wire up the audio. Here I've cut the left and right channel wire plus the ground from the harness connector. I stripped the ground, left and right channel speaker wire to go to the iCraig amp and splice it into the speaker wires to the Bluetooth receiver. Now I reconnect the wiring harnesses and test it all out. So it didn't work. And after testing all different types of things, I figured out that the Bluetooth receiver wasn't putting out any audio anymore, and I couldn't figure out why. So I went on to Amazon and found the cheapest Bluetooth speaker I could find. It was around five bucks, and it had bad reviews for good reason. It was very cheaply made, and I really didn't care because I was going to cut it apart anyway. But as soon as I plugged it in for this first charge, the charging port broke off. Unable to fix this port, I had to take another look at the original Bluetooth and found that by simply soldering one of the audio out wires to a different part of the board, it was able to work perfectly. Okay, so here it is, somewhat cleaned up. Uh, I put the board back where it originally went um, see everything lines up how it was uh, you can see I put some glue on some of the connections here just so they don't break off um, at any point I melted the plastic here and ran the wires through and a little hot glue on there um, this is the uh, 
audio in the left and right channel so uh, put some hot glue and then some tape on that just gonna go ahead and put some glue around here and mount it on the inside and try to put everything back together clean everything up and we're done with this project well it turns out that everything wasn't done like I thought it was I uh, got everything buttoned up uh, went to play it well I couldn't get any connection uh, through my uh, phone or, or any Bluetooth to the Bluetooth receiver here and it turns out just leaving the switch on doesn't leave it on so I guess it has an automatic shut off so I am gonna have to end up putting an access point somewhere so I can get to the the on off switch on the on the Bluetooth um, I didn't want to have to do that because I don't want to cut any holes in it but I get think I'm just gonna cut a hole in the back and uh, and glue the um, Bluetooth receiver to the whole portion that's gonna suck um, just because every time I have to do it I'll have to get up and and turn it on and off but I think it, it's still gonna work out all right okay this is the portion um, that I'm considering the bottom so this is the side that the base speakers on so I want to maybe put my switch somewhere around here um, that way I can reach underneath of it and switch it on and off I don't have any hole saws but I have a, a step bit here I'm gonna try to use it's probably not gonna be a, a good looking cut here but uh, it's gonna work it'll be hidden anyway Scuff this up with a little bit of sandpaper. Just give the glue something to hold on to on this outer surface. Nothing crazy. Just give it a bead of hot glue. Oddly, for whatever reason, the Bluetooth wasn't picking up the last sound of this video. It was supposed to be a fart noise, and no matter how many times I rewound it and played it, it just wouldn't play the ending of it. It was supposed to look like this. <laughs> so I'm not sure why it wouldn't play the end of that, and I have noticed that on certain 
audio it doesn't want to play it could just be a cheap receiver so there you have it uh, it works it syncs up with my um, my laptop and my phone as well um, you can hear right now that kind of buzzing noise uh, but whenever <laughs> whenever anything's playing it cuts out uh, so it's not a big deal so there it is folks in the end it, it I call it a success um, this is probably not the best option uh, for making a Bluetooth speaker but based on the fact that this speaker I still like it it's still good it sounds great uh, I didn't want to just throw it out I mean a lot of people are so eager to throw things away and out with the old and with the new I kind of wanted to repurpose this just because it does still sound well um, I might even do something with this maybe maybe make it like a sound bar in my uh, front room hook it up to my TV definitely not an expert on any uh, electronics or anything like that I'm trying to learn I want to get into uh, more projects like this I'm definitely taught me some things as far as looking at the board and figuring things out um, you know the power supplies and things like that a lot of people who have more knowledge on these type of things are probably going crazy at a lot of things I did but just understand I'm learning I love to figure things out and the best way to do that for me is to jump in and do it this is dealing with electricity so there's always the danger of uh, being electrocuted <laughs> So just make sure that you're uh, careful when you're doing this. I'm happy with this project. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing. And uh, if you want to see more things like this, subscribe button, notifications, so you can see whenever I do post. This is a channel that has a variety of videos. If you're not into something like this, maybe you browse around the channel. You might see something you like. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.